Former President Halima Yaqub was conferred the nation's highest civilian honor on Sunday for embodying so fully the Singapore story and for her lifetime of devoted and distinguished service. She received the Order of Temasek with high distinction from President Thaman Shanmugaram at the National Awards Investiture held at the Institute of Technical Education College Central. Madam Halima, who headed this year's list of national award winners, served Singapore with singular distinction over four decades, read her citation. She broke multiple barriers, blazing a trail for women and achieving many firsts, the first Singaporean to be elected to the governing body of the International Labour Organization, the first Malay woman to be elected an MP, the first female Speaker of Parliament, and the first female to occupy the highest office in the land. Madam Halima began her career in the labor movement in 1978, rising to become Deputy Secretary General of the National Trades Union Congress. She contributed extensively to formulating, strengthening and enforcing labor standards locally and internationally over her 33 years of devoted service, her citation said. She was elected to Parliament in 2001 and served four terms as an MP Madam Halima was appointed to political office in 2011 as Minister of State first in the Ministry of Community Development, Youth and Sports and later in the Ministry of Social and Family Development. In those roles, she championed many social causes, including support for single mothers, children of low-income families, people with mental health conditions, those with disabilities and the elderly, her citation said. She was elected the 8th President of Singapore in 2017, after serving as Speaker of Parliament for four years from 2013. As Head of State, she raised the nation's international image, strengthened its ties with friends near and far, and opened new economic opportunities for Singapore companies. She was also a powerful symbol of unity for all Singaporeans. An inspiration to all, young and old, a president for everyone, as she promised on her inauguration, read her citation. Apart from her official duties, Madam Halima was the patron to many charitable and welfare organizations. She expanded the president's challenge to promote skills upgrading and employment, advocate more inclusive and accessible workspaces, and support the mental health of young people. Throughout her presidency, she worked tirelessly to strengthen mutual understanding, trust and respect across diverse communities, and engage Singaporeans from all walks of life. Her citation said. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Madam Halima exercised the president's custodial power over past reserves on an unprecedented scale, approving a total draw of up to $69 billion. She set a high benchmark of how the president, advised by the Council of Presidential Advisers, should wield the second key, her citation said. With her rigorous and searching questioning, and her considered and informed support, the government was able to use past reserves judiciously and decisively to save lives, preserve jobs and stabilize the economy. History will record Madam Halima's great service to her people as their first crisis president. The citation also said that Madam Halima's remarkable journey from humble beginnings to become the first female minority head of state is testimony that every Singaporean can achieve his or her dream. Regardless of race, language, religion, or family background. Madam Halima told the Straits Times last Wednesday that she was deeply honored to receive the award and grateful to the people of Singapore for the privilege of serving them all these years. She said, if my example of a female from a minority community who came from a very humble background but managed to overcome the odds can serve to encourage others, I'm thankful for the opportunity to do so. Of the 6,598 individuals who received this year's 
National Day Honours, such as the Public Service Star and the Long Service Medal, for Singaporeans, will convert one of the Republic's top national honours, the Distinguished Service Order. They are former Housing Board Chairman Bobby Chin Yok Chung, former Founders Memorial Committee member Timothy James de Sousa, former National Healthcare Group Chairman K.E. Kwa Oon Kwang and former Singapore Technologies Engineering Chairman Kwa Chung Sung. According to the Prime Minister's Office PMO website, the Distinguished Service Order may be awarded to any person who has performed within Singapore any act or series of acts constituting distinguished conduct. In a Facebook post, Mr. Taman said few people embody the Singapore story of achieving despite the odds and serving others as remarkably as Madam Halima has. We salute you for your life story, for your contributions, and for showing the way for others, he added. A full list of the 2023 National Day Award recipients is available on the PMO website.